Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 17th. I think it's the 17th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, okay? This is, the timing is fluid, all right? So I did do another reading, or not another reading, another talk on Empress TV. It was Love, Hate, Fear, and Narcissists is the name of the video. I'll tag it to the end if you're interested. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? No, oh, I guess that one. Eight of Wands. So this is ready. It's fast forward movement. It's good news arriving. It's increased communication, things speeding up. Somebody is ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready. Putting some sort of plans in action, that is for sure. There is going to be a lot of communication, a lot of collaboration, working together. Increased, there's, there's, this is like increased communication of some sort. Two of Wands, now Two of Wands is a decision, it's a choice. You know, somebody is at a crossroads, they're going to have to make a choice of some sort. Um, there's options here, so we have somebody here that may have several options or they may just have two. Somebody is like, they're being, they're hearing, you know, that they need to do something. They've been struggling with a choice, but they're hearing what they need to hear. It's like they, they know that they need to, they need to get moving. They know that they do. The message is arriving. The message is arriving. So there's something about messages receiving messages somebody may be receiving messages from above as well okay because the eight of wands is messages and you notice that angel like telling somebody something so somebody is getting some messages whether they're getting messages from above or from other people there's definitely some messages that are coming You need to get moving. You need to get moving. That's what I hear. You need to get moving. You need to get moving. It's time. It's time. Do you want to do you want to stay in this position or are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Get up. Get up. Get up. Knight of Swords reversed. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Seven of Pentacles. Investment. Dead end. Dead end. Somebody is going to be relocating. They're going to be investing in something else because there's no movement. You better get up and get moving because somebody's about to start investing in something else. If there's no growth here, somebody is thinking about going someplace else right now. They are. It feels like a season is over. It's, it's time. It's time to plant your seed someplace else. You better get moving. We are wasting time. You're wasting time. We have somebody here that is really in no hurry. They're in no hurry. And it looks like we have a damp, this is, happens to be reversed. I'm going to show it to you in the upright so you get the real picture here. Looks like we have a damsel in distress. But there's, there's like nobody coming, but there also could be somebody coming that is not trustworthy. We may have an untrustworthy individual here that is... coming to somebody's assistance. Two of Wands reverse. There's obviously two choices. There's two options. You can stay or you can go. What are you going to do? 
things are things need there's movement with the eight of wands so there's going to be some sort of movement things could also happen extremely fast with the knight of swords reversed seven of pentacles this is like it's time you see in this card it's like it's it's harvest time it's over something this season is over we definitely have somebody here that is is thinking about going someplace else they know that something is over but they're really uh feels like they're wasting time because it feels like there's somebody else coming in and it feels like this other person is coming in really really fast while somebody is wasting time and I don't know whose message that is for you're sitting there thinking about it we obviously have somebody here that is in distress that is waiting for a hero mm. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now that's giving up. It's not working out. Something isn't working out. It's not working. Somebody's not putting in very much effort. They're not taking care of something that needs to be taken care of. They're not putting in much effort. Knight of Swords reversed is is I Jason that. Knight of Cups. I knew there was somebody else coming in. There is. There is somebody coming in. This is this is a new this is like a new suitor or somebody that is making an offer of love or you know looking for a relationship. Somebody is flirting, they're expressing feelings, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Somebody is getting closer. While somebody is sitting around wasting time, not listening, not listening to the higher plan, you know, not listening to the messages that they're receiving, uh somebody is probably planting their seeds someplace else. There's another offer here. A proposal, falling in love, deepening a connection, increased communication. We have somebody here that is communicating with a lover. The Eight of Wands with the Knight of Cups, they're communicating with a lover because somebody is procrastinating with that Two of Wands. We have a procrastinator here not putting in much effort. Therefore, it's time to invest in something else. Hmm. Empress. The Empress. So we got the Empress here. This is the birth of a new life. This is a renewal. This is a creator. So we have a creator here that is creating a new life. It's time. I knew that it was. It is time. She's about to receive a blessing. So this empress is about to receive a blessing. She's a mother. She's a goddess. She's the goddess of love and abundance. She's about to receive a blessing. This is a miracle. It is a miracle. Somebody is going to be investing. Maybe they haven't been putting in much effort. Maybe they're going to step it up with the eight of wands. Maybe there's obviously two options here. I know that there is. There's competition. And I saw it in the Eight of Wands card, but I didn't say it. But there's definitely some competition here. You can see. You know, you want to ward off the competition, you better get your ass in gear. So I feel like uh, Eight of Wands... Communicate, 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 increased communication. Good news is arriving, triumphant news. Ready, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this birth? Are you ready for this, this new life? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is love, it's some sort of love with that Knight of Cups, it's love. Are you ready? May have something to do with relocation with that Seven of Pentacles. Now, it's time for a delivery. Something is going to be delivered. Somebody may be delivering something. There could also be something that is coming back around that, uh, you know, seeds that were planted a long time ago are finally coming to fruition. It's finally time to receive the reward, whatever that means. King of Swords reversed. 
next to that Eight of Pentacles reversed. I don't know if we have somebody here that is closed off. This person is cold. They haven't put, there's somebody here that's not putting in much effort. This person doesn't communicate well, is not very open-minded, maybe closed off. I think I already said that. Six of Cups, somebody from the past, somebody that is, um, lacks communication skills. There is somebody here that hasn't made a very wise decision. They're thinking about they're thinking about love. They are definitely thinking about love. They may have given up on something because they weren't seeing very clearly. They were lacking some sort of clarity. I can see that with the two of wands. We have somebody here that is really discontent. You know, they they've they, maybe they've been confused. There's but the king of wands and revert I mean the king of swords in reverse can also be abuse. You know, rude, clueless, ignorant. So I wonder if we have somebody here that's just ignorant. Six, I'm just being honest. Now the Six of Cups, Six of Cups is memories of love, thinking about love. King of Swords is a thinker. So we have somebody here that is thinking about love. They may be thinking about soulmates or they're thinking about their past. Maybe they're holding on to their past. That's why they haven't been putting in effort. They're thinking about this new opportunity for love because of the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles looking right at the Empress. So we have somebody here that is thinking about investing in this beauty, but they obviously are not putting in much effort because of some sort of something about the past. Holding on to the past. We have somebody here that is holding on to the past. They're not being logical. It's, a, it's an air sign or it's an air sign energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is not being logical. They're not being logical by clinging to the past. And it doesn't have to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but it's like not thinking clearly. There's an opportunity for a new life here. It's time to get moving. Stop wasting your time. This is a dead end. It's time for you to relocate or plant your seeds someplace else. This is actually very beautiful. This is a it is. It's a miracle. It's a blessing. It's time to start that new life. It's time. It's time. Um, there could also be an arrival here. An arrival. Somebody could be showing up. Or they could be arriving. It's time. I just want to keep saying it's time. Express your feelings. Acting on feelings. Somebody is going to be acting on their feelings. They are going to be expressing their feelings. There's going to be an increased amount of communication and things are going to probably progress extremely fast. It's kind of like when you give labor, you, you start out, you know, it starts out slow and then it's like, boom, here it is. You know, it's like, okay, things happen fast. So it feels like it starts out slow for a minute and you're going through the pain and then all of a sudden things speed up. And that's what I got here. That is exactly what I got here. I do feel like we have somebody here that is going to be deepening a connection or they're going to whatever is happening if they're in this if this is an actual birth it's like this is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful two of cups reversed underneath that eight of pentacles reversed and the Four of Cups. We definitely have somebody here that is very discontent. They are thinking about love. They are thinking about the past. They are in a partnership where there's no unity. There's no equality. There's no love. They're not getting the love. They're feeling uh, lost. You know, it's like there's no partnership. There's, there's, there's some sort of wanting more, I want more. So somebody is really thinking about what they are investing in. They're looking at an empress. They're looking at an empress. They, they see an opportunity for love and abundance. 
because that's what the Empress brings. She brings love and abundance. She is the creator. She creates everything with love, okay? She's, she is. I mean, she's a domestic goddess. She has plenty. She uh, does everything with love, okay? She's, she's the mother. She, she, she mothers, okay? She mothers. Um, but there's some sort of discontent because... There's, we may have somebody here that is clinging to memories of the past, a previous partnership where they have invested quite a bit, a bit of time in. You know, sometimes you have to, well, what's the word? Uh, it's like, it's, what is it? It's like cut your losses, cut your losses and move on. Cut your losses and move on. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that is clinging to a past partnership while they have a new opportunity for love that if they don't get moving, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone because I feel like there's another suitor here that is also investing. There's also somebody from the past here that I feel like somebody's being haunted. That's what it is. They're being haunted by the past. A past partnership where that, you know, where somebody didn't want them. Oh, here we go again. Somebody's being haunted by a past partnership. Somebody that didn't want them. Somebody that mentally and verbally abused them. They're, they're letting that hold them back from a beautiful new life with somebody that will love them and take care of them. Queen of Pentacles. I was clarifying that Empress. Queen of Pentacles. Mother, something about mother, okay, because these are both mother, okay, it's also very domestic, very earth, earth, um, practical, stable, solid, abundant. We have somebody here that is very valuable, that has a lot to offer. This is something to do with a mother and, and a mother's love. It's definitely very fertile as well. There's some sort of, it's a very fertile time to plant these seeds. They will grow. They will grow very, very, very fast. This is somebody that, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, They. this is somebody that grows things. This is a grower, okay? This is somebody that is very focused on taking care of business as well. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is a businesswoman very focused on money or focused on abundance, focused on the home, takes care of everything, takes care of the home, takes care of the children, takes care of the business, very focused on stability. So there's somebody here that is, is very focused on their stability and they're about to receive some sort of blessing. This is absolutely a golden opportunity. It is a blessing. It is a true blessing. It is a miracle. The Empress gives birth to a miracle. It's a miracle. It is. Knight of Cups. This Empress is looking at love. She's looking at the Knight of Cups. She's looking at love. She's looking at a lover. Or she's looking at you know, a suitor or somebody that is, somebody's going to be courting, courting, courting her. Falling in love. Increased communication. This is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. Hierophant. Commitment. Commitment. Believe. Have faith. This is, there's some sort of, uh divine connection here we have somebody here that has a direct connection to god there's a higher power involved there is 
This may lead to commitment, may lead to marriage if you're not married already. Listen to your gut, listen to the messages that you're getting. Have faith, believe. There is some sort of direct connection to God here. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. The Empress is Taurus. The Hierophant is Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles is Taurus. We also have Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, direct connection to God. I feel like somebody's prayers have been answered. I feel like so this is the answer to your prayers. Don't waste your time. You better get moving. Good luck.